Okay. Three, two, one. Ready, Adrian? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Hello, it is me, Adrian Opal, here from the Adrian Opal Empire, and yeah, today we are going to be doing some best known tutorials. And that was kind of out of key, but who cares? Um, I care. Shut up, Sam! Okay, um, anyhow, to guess today, um, if you notice anything about my hand, I happen to be playing on, um, I happen to, I'm playing, I'm playing on a super flat world, I need to quick eye. Just for lols, okay? Um, but, okay, that's that. Pretty. Okay, um, but, today I happen to be playing in my redstone steampunk skin! Woo! Because I, uh, wanna look cool. Wait, 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 wait. Unless I happen to be wearing a wizard mask, um, because I was playing a game of vampires. And, um, I turned into a vampire, and I went in F5 mode, and I looked like a complete nerd. It's just, like, the, the wither mask and everything. I'm not a nerd! Okay, um, yes, so, yes, we are, um, doing Redstone Tutorials. Okay, so, episode one by Adrian Opal. Why don't we start recording, shall we? Okay, check out iscience.weebly.com. Don't forget to slap on that like button unless you happen to be playing on, um, our network. One second, let me turn it to... Daytime, real quick. Look better. Okay. Um. So, is my head? Take a dog's head. Oh my head! My he's biting me. He's biting me. Ah! Okay, so. I, I forget. I forget what I'm doing sometimes. Okay, so yeah, so our heads. Um. Don't forget. Get, for, don't forget to slap on that like button unless you're on our website. But don't forget to head over to our YouTube page if you're wondering about our movie. It will be coming on. I just thought that I should make a start a little series for you, just for a little treat, so you're not waiting all the time. But yeah, so this is the Red Zone Basics by Adrian Opal, and yeah, this is episode one. So why don't we get started, okay? For all you noobs, because I'm calling this Redstone for noobs off the book series. Redstone for dummies, so not Redstone for noobs. Okay, um, yeah. So basically, I'm going to uh, let me get this and maybe. Maybe some of this. And, um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to be doing is, um, going to show you everything that there is to redstone in vanilla Minecraft. So, yeah, gonna, this is a redstone block. If you mine it, it turns into a loose redstone block. Also, it admits a redstone current, so it will light up anything interactive with redstone. I'm using a lamp, for example, just so it's simple. Um, yeah, so next one we got a redstone torch, same thing, but it's just a torch and it's easier to craft. This requires nine, nine, nine redstone, this one requires a redstone and stick. We got that. Yeah, shuts off. It's back. Okay. Um, this would be, um, yeah, this would just be an on-off torch. If a red, if a one-way redstone current, this is called a repeater if you don't break it. Um, you basically take a old add some delays to it, um, I don't know, I don't feel like going into it right now. But basically, it can also cause a one-way current going in that way. I'm going to do more of these, so don't worry. I'll do one entirely based off Minecraft repeaters and clocks, too. Anyhow, got an on-off torch, so if basically when this make a the switch makes a current, boom, it shuts off all these torches. It's the block. It's conductive. If you didn't know, it's not conductive. Um, it's, it's true. Look it up. Look it up. Read a book. Um, yeah. So, it's basically it went on and off. Yeah, here's another one. It can also go through blocks, as you saw there. So, if you place a redstone wire or torch underneath a block, and you go, boom. Boom. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a button. Two different textures. That's really about it. And they just make a redstone current. Lever. That's all it is. Um, now here's the thing about a pressure plate. Stone pressure plate. See this wood pressure plate right here? It may just look like different textures and different ways to craft it, but that, if you throw, if you throw redstone on there, or, well, anything on there, um, this one's a little lighter, so therefore it will make a redstone current by placing just anything on it. Same thing if you stand on it, and with the stone pressure plate, it'll only work if there's a mob sitting on it. Anyhow, a light pressure plate, um, this one's a little fancy. Yeah, it's like how many, 
are sitting on it at a time. Um, heavy pressure plate's basically the same idea, but it's a little less sensitive. Yeah. You have to get a lot of it, okay? Um, yeah. Anyhow, um, sticky piston. Pushes and pulls, if you want to know what it looks like, it basically looks like a regular piston, which I'm about to show you, except that it has a bunch of slime on it. Um, yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah. I don't know why I named them both sticky pistons. I need to fix that. Why not, Adrian? Just work. No, wait, I can't do my homework because I'm playing a game. Okay, um, so yeah, this is a, it's a regular piston. So when you flip a switch, it'll push and pull. Yeah, that's really what it looks like without, it just looks like the sticky piston without the slime. Now, but, when you flip it, it'll go back and forth. And here's a little fun thing I did. Um, when you, this redstone block goes against the current, it will also emit a current, so it will cause that one to move, too. Ta-da! Right? Ah, there we go. Right next to that torch. So, yeah. Um, now this is called a daylight sensor. It basically creates more, a more powerful current depending on what time how how much light there is outside. Why, why is there a chicken here? Oh. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm about to show you that, don't worry. Um, sorry. I had a failed attempt earlier. And sorry, I wasn't recording. I thought I told all of them. Okay, um... Um, anyhow. Daylight sensor. If you make it nighttime, as you can watch, you'll notice that these torches and redstone lamp come on because they're connected to the current. However, when daylight comes on, they'll be shut off, mainly because I'm using an inverse current, which is a neat little thing that you can do here. It's a block pushes the diamond block out of the way, so current does not get through. And another way you can do it is just by funneling the current to a torch. So yeah, shows both examples. Um, yeah, this is called an item hopper next. Now, um, this does require, this isn't entirely redstone, but still has some functioning with redstone. Okay, um, oh yeah, this is a little contraption, but watch. When you throw it in, it immediately absorbs it, picks it up, but where is it all going? <gasps> it's just under here. Poof! They all go in there, so if you just go... <sighs> it just goes up, and it's crazy, it's, it's crazy, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna go and the... they don't need that many. Yeah, it holds five slots at a time too. Now, this little contraption here is kind of fun. I'm gonna make a show you a fancier version of this. But basically, if you place an item hopper underneath a block, and when chicken under like under your pan or something, when the chickens lay their eggs, they won't just go spoil and dissipate. They can fall if you manage to do it right. You can get hoppers to absorb the eggs and drop them in here. So, so yeah, it's basically a sheave. I'm assuming it's a sheave, right? Lays all the eggs in here. Also, you can't see it right now, but I name tagged it. Uh, name tagged it, um, Mr. Chicken. So this is an egg collector. Quite effective. Quite effective. Now, this is just a regular chest, right? This is called a trap chest. I'm just gonna show you it. Um, I don't know why that signs there, but um, yeah. So when you create have a trap chest. When you open it up, it creates a redstone current, so it's really good for, like, horror maps and stuff. Um, the only difference, really, is that around the, um, buckle for it, yeah, it's just a little shade of red. Okay? That's it. And, yeah, so it'll just open up while it's good. Alright. Another thing, um, iron. Oh, one second. I gotta... Clean up. Okay, um, uh, yeah. alright, I just gotta set this, um, one second. Okay, so, um, next thing I've gotta do is, I forgot to place things there, but this is an iron door, because current can work on doors and stuff, as well, as well as trap doors, um, to... You can also place it on top too because that's basically how they work. They'll travel through the right? And yeah, you also see it works on a fence gate. I don't even know why I made two of these. But yes, yeah, so, so you can just like start. Why do? 
I know, I look like a total noob, but I'm trying to teach a noob. But yeah, you just make a current go through and you can't get back. What? Wait, what? What? Okay. So, yeah. Um, next thing I am going to show you is you if you take dispensers and you put spawn eggs in there, you can make they'll just spawn them, okay? So this is a dispenser, I'm showing you it now. Um wait. Chicken. Mr. Chicken's feather. Feather. And his sister. So yeah. Big ol' happy family. Woo! 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 Okay. Um, yeah, so... Wait, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, what am I doing? You, you, you two get out of What's up? What's up? Oh, God! Oh. Oh, oh my God, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, God. Wow, that was such a creative curse. That I did not censor. Okay, um, yeah, this is, I'm about to show you a tripwire. Um, I got a little dispenser over there. You can hop over it too, but um, oh, you disappoint me. I'm talking to you, man. I'm talking to you. No. Hey, don't you dare shake your. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to. Okay. Oh. Wait. You're right. I can't. I can't keep away from you. I can't. Okay, um, so we've... I'm just gonna go over here. Why is there a chicken back here? Did you do this? She's a crazy old chicken. Okay, um, so yeah, I basically put fire charges in there, they shoot out. Anyhow, I'm going to show you, this is a dropper with arrow, and this is a dispenser with arrow. Now I'm going to show you what a dispenser with arrow does first. Sticks an arrow in my head. I should probably get that looked at, but um, right now I'm now I'm going to stand right here, really close. This is really deadly. I'm I'm just gonna do it. It just gives me an arrow. Give me an arrow. Here, 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 you take that. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. It works with spawn eggs and fire charges. A dropper really is just a dispenser, but it won't um do any of the special things that a dispenser will do. So. It's a little safer. Then you got a flint and steel, TNT. Um, I'm going to show you this. Um, this. This isn't redstone, I'm just doing this as a basic test. I got a basic flint and steel. I was like, I was like, did I, oh, don't tell me I literally missed that. Boom, so yeah. Basic TNT explosion, right? Didn't do too much because I made the floor out of iron. Let me put this back before I blow anything else, but I don't want to get blown up. up. Woo! Okay. Um, yeah. Oh god, I, I didn't want to push that. Okay, um, this is a redstone TNT, so basically just the same thing as regular TNT, except that you can detonate it far away with redstone, so... Yeah. Okay, you can also do that underground. Now this here is a detector rail. Um, I had it sitting on there. It was lighting up, but I accidentally bumped into it, and you have to... You really don't want to touch that. Really, um, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just not gonna risk it. I'm just, I'm just gonna avoid you, okay? Um, anyhow, I put one of these minecart TNTs in here. You just get it from placing, get special minecart things by just placing the item that you want in the minecart above it, like a furnace or a chest or a TNT or a hopper, whatever, whatever. It's really about it. Spoiler alert. Okay. Um, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to light this up, send the redstone current, and we are just going to stare at it. Okay, I'm just going to out them. Okay. Now, if you notice something really cool, Minecart TNT will not destroy the block underneath it. It will destroy the block underneath with the block that is underneath of it. But, um, yeah, so, um... Hey, you, you, hey, you chicken. Look. Yeah, yeah, you. You again? Yeah, you take this. I don't want your egg. Just being cruel, okay? That that's abuse, okay? That's abuse. Um, anyhow, I, as I slowly walk my way back, and, and avoid that one because minecart TNT will also detonate near it, too. 
But um, yeah, the one thing that's just trapdoor. So this is a minecart. Okay, I'm I'm not sure why I'm not able to hop in minecarts right now. But anyhow, um, I'm going to be showing you. I'm too lazy to go into creative mode. There we go. Now you, you see that's working. These are called power rails, and they will activate whenever there's a redstone current. And detector rails basically will create a redstone current if anything goes on top of it. And one second. Use the sound, uh, master volume, way down to like 31. Exactly that way. So, anyhow, um, yeah, so it just creates all these little currents. Um, the, doesn't really have to do anything to be activated by anything, even a redstone torch. I literally just stopped it. It won't work backwards because I made it like this. So that it has to go this way because of the things. But yeah, it will activate anything in its path. And I'm just going to stop you so I don't want any lag. Um, anyhow, um, this is a hopper minecart and he is sitting right over here. Now I'm going to be showing you what is really cool about this. If you take a block, place it above the hopper minecart. Keep going a little fast. <gasps> you see that? Sucked it up. Wait, I, I, I think that I have a few of them sitting in there already, but yeah, one second. I, one second. Oh, my, my computer came unplugged accidentally. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so any item that comes across sucked up into side the hopper. Yeah, this is really useful. I'm going to show you something really cool you can do with that. You probably know already, but now I'm going to call, show you Comparator, what, whatever they're called, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just don't know what they're called. This is, see, this is what you get for electing me as your teacher, okay? Okay, you want, you want, um... There we go. Um... Basically how this works, it it subtracts the current from both ends. I have it on subtraction mode and will basically give you what you have. Now because of I have these two sides running in, you get the current coming from the top. I just placed a redstone torch there. It will take the redstone torch, which will usually go, um, I believe, 15 blocks or power of 15. And basically, yeah. But when you shut off both of these, the subtraction is by zero, so sixteen divided sub sixteen subtracted by zero equals sixteen, so it will go all sixteen blocks before it finally stops. So yeah. Pretty cool. But however, the strongest current that it re reaches from the side will then subtract and what is this? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it should be like ten, but I don't, I don't know why it goes down so low. I I think that may be like how many it takes off six how many depths or something. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, okay? I'm, I'm really not. I think it may just be a little bit more sensitive, but anyhow. There's a comparing carburetor. If it detects that a redstone signal is coming from either end of the regular one, it will shut it off. However, when both of them are on, it does work. So yeah. And this is just a show you how far it would usually go. But yeah, it's, you got the idea. Now this is a note block. You right click them to see how many times it will work, right? You probably know about note blocks already, but however, once they sit up to a certain tune, they will already be working. So I got... Well, this must be so boring, but yeah, basically it will lock onto that note if you then reactivate it with the redstone current. You make like giant symphonies, symphonies if you want to with this. Um, it would actually be pretty cool, but yeah, you gotta. So yeah, um, well, anything else? Well, the one final thing, um, well, basically that's all about it for basic redstone tutorial. Um, there's a few miniature things that I can show you. 
But um, right now, uh, you know that I'm Adrian Noble. Um, you know the big old deal. You saw this command box over there. Command blocks are also activated by those. I mean, command blocks by typing in slash give 137. You can't like craft them or anything because they're they use cheats and as well. So I'm just gonna uh, put all this. Wait, I'm just gonna um, start putting all of this. Putting all of this. Yeah, it doesn't matter what order it's in, okay? It just doesn't. Okay. Anyhow, um, well, I hope you well, why don't you go slap on that like button, like I said at the beginning of it. It's not, it's not a command, I'm not I'm not pushing you on anything. I'm not pushing you, I'm just comparing you to everyone else. Um wait no. Pun. Um, yeah. That wasn't that fun. Okay, um so yeah, so slap on that like button. Um my name is Rian Opal and you should know that uh it's a big ordeal because you've seen maybe a few of my videos and my posts on the website. But anyhow, may I finally say it, the big finale! My name is Adrian Opal. My name is Adrian Opal. And I am Mal.